Hello everybody, welcome back to another thrilling episode of Pathologic. We are nearing the end of the Bachelor's Campaign. We've got a few more quests to wrap up before the end, uh, before we can begin the final day. So first off, we have to go see, uh, the, uh, the young Kane boy. The one over in the, that's been hiding in the tower. This is, I think, one of the third actual, the third or fourth maybe trip that we've made up here. We haven't really had much time to get to know this kid. Uh, not as much as we have the other characters. But, um... Yeah, I feel... I feel quite a... I feel like there's just a finality coming on. There's all these different threads. And even if I don't see where they're going, or where they're headed, it doesn't take a genius to figure out that everything is about to come together. There is going to be one big conclusion. All of this, all of the events, all 12 days have been leading up to this. This is the final one. This is the showdown, and basically this is day 11 is bringing together for that big showdown, and to be fair, I'm quite distressed about how it's going to be. I don't know if I've made all the right decisions. I've just followed my heart, as it were, and tried to make them the best that I could. But who knows? This is... This is it, though. This is the grand finale, as it were. That's why there's been a lot of action today. I have a message from the Inquisitor to Khan. Hello, Khan. What? I know you came from her. About what shall we talk, then? Tell me, Kaspar, what happened to Maria? You know better what happened to her. I should not be your helper in such affairs. Aglaia Lilic asks to give you this. I do not want to have any affair with Aglaia Lilic. It's Panacea. I will not take the Panacea! There are 1,000 of my comrades here, either to everybody or to nobody. Take it yourself, or give it to Ogibski. He will tell you about the sister. Well, I hope tomorrow no one here would need Panacea. Okay. No Khan denies the guiltiness of the sister, though by his confession he would like to have any discrediting data against her very much. Convincingly, the last possible witness remains. Younger Vlad. This is the one that was in love with her. So, we gotta go see him. Alright, well, let's plan our route. We gotta go see Capella first. And we have to go see Clara. So, it seems like the best possible decision would be to go see Vlad over here, then make our way up here to go see Capella, and then... So, I shouldn't have to go too far, and I think we can double back around. It seems like the best decision to make. Possibly. Maybe. It could be. I don't quite know. Oh, good God. I, shouldn't they have... Uh, Peter... Peter Stomaton is a genius. He really is. But shouldn't he have, like, put rails on the stairs? Especially on a tower? Made out of paper? That could be slippery. You you could slip and, and fall to your death. Who in the right mind would climb up this thing? Besides a bunch of... Uh, never mind. Nobody in this town is in their right mind. What am I thinking? Oh, for crying out loud. But all right, let's keep going. Come on! Just keep moving down the stairs. That's what I need to do. Everything. Everything depends on me now. I'm really very nervous. Let's just take a moment to look at how fucking ominous that town is. It's just this fucking... Neo-Gothic Art Nouveau type shit is just something out of hell and horror. To be fair, I fucking love the way this game looks. I think this game is gorgeous. We're gonna avoid these rats by ducking into the uh, cathedral here. No, sorry. I, I just I love the the uh, the architecture in this game. It's amazing to me. Oh dear, let's bite back our hunger a bit. I need to stop by to eat something. I've forgotten to eat today. That's not good. Okay. Uh, yeah, we can take some of these. No, I can't. Uh, well, let's see. What can I get rid of? Andre Stomaton's drafts. Oh, well, I, I need those. But I don't really need these. Oh, I need that. Give me that. There we go. That's fine. All right. So if I keep heading straight forwards, I will cut through Plague District, but it will give me a faster area to uh, to go see uh, 
dear, dear Vlad. There we go. Okay, got lots of water. I could trade for drunks. Okay, so this is the direction I'm headed in. Let's go. Okay. Gotta watch out because it looks like there is an arsonist right there. Who is just pelting the uh the plague victims? We're gonna stand by here and uh Why are you being such a dickhead? Oh dear. Why aren't the why isn't the army doing anything about this creep? Well I've got two rifles and Lots of revolver bullets, so... Ah! Okay. Still heading the right direction? Yes. So watch out for these clouds. They are nasty. Yep. Uh, more useless junk. That's fantastic. I forgot to give the papers to Aglaia. Oh well, I'll double back around here anyways. I just realized that. I was so busy taking my quest from her that I... I got to give her the fucking papers. Stupid, stupid, stupid! I can't believe I forgot that! Oh well. I'm not gonna reload now. I, I'm not gonna do it. I'll just go back to her. That it, It'll be fine. It'll be completely... Fine. Ah, rat! Would you please kill this rat that's following me? Never mind, I'm just gonna duck into here. Ah! Okay. Well, the rat is no longer with me. Oh boy, there's a uh, bandit there. Oh dear. I also have a letter. Warning from the Hyrospicus. I have news for you, Onan. I have found that you were looking for the day a before yesterday. Do not hurry to make important decisions before you talk to me. I wait for you in the factories, in the cellars under the corpulent shop, Artemi Birak. Oh dear. Let's take care of this guy. Oh, come on! Just need one shot! Christ! Oh hey! Quite nice. Thank you. Alright. Cool. Oh. That was successful. How much health do I got? I've got I've got enough, so we'll be fine. Hello. Maria will not let anyone hurt children. I play on her side. If only I knew earlier all that I learned now. When did you see your father? Do you know what happened yesterday on the waste ground? Yes, of course. Awfully. Birak is beside himself. The Canes are concerned with this? Wait a minute. No, this cannot be. The Canes are within a hair's breadth of from destruction. All this was arranged to blacken them and to incite the people against them. Who has suggested you such original idea? Because I cannot allow that you have come to it by logical conclusions. Aglaia thinks that everything was made by Maria. Bosh. Maria is innocent. However, now I understand that she is our only hope. She is the only one who has enough courage to continue building off what we started. The cowards and the weak want reliability, comfort, and confidence of tomorrow. They also want her death. You speak so from love to her. No. My love to her is such that I am ready to justify her any installation on the waste grounds. Let her build everything she thinks necessary, because sooner or later Maria will construct here the space to which the magic will return. There is nothing more beautiful than expectation of a miracle. I have to hand you this. It's Panacea. I need nothing. I have changed. I'll sell my property, and the money will be useful for a new construction. The town has to be reconstructed. So this is your choice. Hey. Amazingly unanimity. The haters stop. The winners revert in their belief of the conquered. It appears that Maria is clean as starlight. The people will love her so much if sometime she rules here. Oh, that's good to hear. Alright. Let's go. Whoa! 
Ah! Hey! Leave me alone, dude! Why are you following me? Did I get away? Oh, hey! Hey! Ah! Well, that was odd. Don't know why he was mad at me, but whatever. I've got full health now. Yay! Okay. All right, now we gotta go see Capella and uh, and the Devotress. I don't know. I don't like the Devotress too much. I I just maybe I have to see things from her side to understand why she's done some of the things that she's done. But I'm convinced that she's the one who put the cow there. It it just seems to me like that it would be something that she would do because she seems to exist to uh, stir shit up. Like, she lives for it, thrives off of it. Can't imagine anybody else who would do something so horrible. And I don't see the Inquisitor doing it. Possibly the Devotress acting on the Inquisitor's behalf. Let's just, oh my god. This is gonna be a mess to get through. How do I... Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. I don't think so, dude. And I didn't get credit for it. Again. Whatever, that's fine. I will be fine. Lots of guards here by the theater. Alright, Capella is... This way. Near the clot where uh, Big Vlad lives. Who apparently died. Wonder what happened to him. Oh well. No skin off my nose. We're gonna duck into there while duck into here while the arsonist is out and about. Cause I don't want to deal with that shit. Yeah, we're gonna avoid that. Okay. Good, good. And here we are at Capella's. Hello, Capella. Recently, father avoids me. It's strange. Victoria, do you know the successor of Katarina? Oh, this is too complicated. First, I was sure that it was Clara. I even thought that Clara is the plague herself. Now it is a shame to me to admit it, because I know exactly that she really makes miracles. And probably she is a saint. What in this case? She cannot be a successor of Katarina. No. The saint and the mistress of land are incompatible things. So it seems to me, though she speaks that all her acts, even the most terrible, have been caused by desire of the best only. In general, I have absolutely got confused. Here and now, when I most became convinced of her sacredness, she disturbs me again. Why? I am confused because she now almost does not come off commander. She has chosen a strange ally. Perhaps there is nothing bad about it. Perhaps she wants to work with her good force on him to moderate his cruelty. But there is something unnatural in their union. Yes, perhaps. That's scary. It's hard to believe in things that lay outside our outlook. I shall speak on behalf of Maria. Well, it's to the best. In our sky, a new color star lights up for the first time for many years. We shall glorify its rising. Are you pleased? It seems to me that you and Maria are rivals. Listen, you insult me! Would I be worthy of the name of mistress, if not now, but in the future? If I put my pride and my advantage above the benefit of the dying town? The mistress will return our town to life, so her coming is a blessing. But in fact, this will be a completely different town, not the one you imagined. Right. I understand all. Who knows how many years will pass before I shall come into force? Perhaps many years, and I will just settle into the town built by Berea and take there a place, allocated by her for me, if such a place will be. That means, is it already impossible to change something? What are you talking about? If only it were possible to wait a little. I would lead everybody by another footpath. That would be better. How would you change the town? Oh, I have such plans. In fact, I would make it absolutely different. You know, now it is scarlet, dark, and blue, and grayish, and you fight. But I would make it golden, coal, and apple brown. There would be other forces, other ideas, other strivings. Everything would be different. 
Sounds interesting. And very beautiful. What is necessary for you to win and reconstruct the town in your way? Are you serious? No, certainly. Just wanted to tell something pleasant to you. Here, give Maria my beads. This is jewelry from my mother, an ancient work from Step Around Bone. Now such things do not remain anymore. Here the protective brand signs are cut out on these scallops. I recognize her power. Let her rule better than wild Nina. Thank you. Do not be sad. Okay. Amazingly. Okay, let's see. Capella has recognized the authority of the future mistress. As a sign of love and obedience, she presents Maria with beads from the coffer of her mother. Okay. Now, I really need new do, to do. I really. I, I do. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I really need to do something about my hunger. So maybe I will find a cheeseburger on the way. Hopefully. Maybe I'll find a restaurant. I need food. Like in the worst way possible. Okay. Yeah, just keep going this way. Da 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 da. Whoa! Leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone! Ah! You are a cunt. Mr. Cloud, you are a cunt! And so is that guy throwing fire everywhere. Whoa! Whoa! Speaking of cunts, it's Angel of Death! Ah! Ha! Huh, I made it. Okay. That was, uh. That was quite nerve wracking. Indeed. I need a restaurant. I need to eat something. I just need to eat somebody. I just need to eat somebody. Ba da ba ba wow wow. Alright. I think here we Ah Rat 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 I'm okay. Alright. Hello, Clara. My old rival. I don't. So. I don't want to talk to you. Has something changed about you, or it seems to me? All of you are possessed by murder and destruction. Why nobody thinks that it is possible to heal without cutting the ill parts? I, by the way, the day before yesterday, I received a little letter from you. How shall I understand it? Just understand, Bachelor. Believe me, it is not necessary to ruin anything. This town is alive, and you with the high respects are the demons deceived and ruthless. Wide-eyed, wherefore you are blind, red-tongued, wherefore you are bloodthirsty, invulnerable, wherefore you are empty. One wants to cut the hand, another one the body. And you, and I shall leave all. Both of you are doomed to defeat. Both of you disorganized but can exist in unity, in a tragic unity, but in unity. Let them argue all the time, deny each other, but it grows due to that. The town without the tower is inconceivable. The tower is impossible without the town. How are you going to keep it? It's impossible. Yes, it can turn out only by a miracle. You are not able to do that. Simply trust me, and this will be your miracle. However, for Birak, this is not useful anymore. He is fully paid for his dullness. Let's look. The letter was strong. If I get out from here, I shall keep it as a memory of this trip. All right. Well, let's talk about I Maria. I shall manage to make an application of each person living here. I shall make the most important miracle. I have come to you on behalf of Maria Kane, Clara. What is your Maria Kane to me? Even yesterday, I was afraid of her, but now I start to feel a force in myself. Besides, I'm not the mistress of land. She's mistaken. Really? You take me for another! Then what is the nature of the force which you start to feel? My force is not from this world, do you understand it? I take it as a formality. Maria possesses a certain magnetism, I admit it, as this is important for the townspeople. You women of the same kind, but younger by position, should recognize her power. Ah, why should we talk about it now? What does she want from me, this Maria? Actually, nothing. It's a simple formality. You should recognize her. Just this. Don't you understand that a hell will break out? She will be a sorceress queen! She will change all alive things for the sake of her ideals and miracles! She will construct an alive utopia, a violation of everything that approaches a man to the kingdom of heaven. You recognize her. Yes, take it! This is to the best. This thing will remind her of where the unit of forces actually abides. Vivipata's forces! Oh? It seems you know the features of mutual relation between the mistresses. 
Oh dear, I need to get rid of some useless shit. Let's see, what can I get rid of? Time for us to go to the front. Let's get rid of this stuff. Come on, get rid of all the kerosene. I don't need it. I'm not going to use it. Come on. Fact, Come on. Get rid of all of it. Here besides you. That's a lot of fucking kerosene anyways. Alright, we're going to leave the kerosene there in a bag. Alright. So now we have to go all the way back to Aglaia and find Maria's house. Okay. Clara has recognized the authority of future mistresses. As a sign of humility and consent, she presents Maria with the ring of her foster mother. It is possible to bring the relics to horns. Maria waits for me. Alright. Now, that's great. But you know what I need? A cheeseburger! Or a steak! Or something to drive back the forces of hunger which gnaw at my soul. Please have food. If you don't, I will kill you. Crackers? You, crackers. Are you shitting me right now? I'm starving to death, dude. I need... There. I ate all my crackers! It's not enough to sustain me! Oh, well. Let's, uh... Maybe if I can make my way to... If I can make my way to the, uh, the healed part of town, I might find some children to break with. Or I can break into one last house and raid the pantries. Why not? It's the final- it's the, uh, second to last day. Probably the last house I'm gonna raid in the entire game. We might as well make a day of it. I could drink a lot of my water. Uh, but that wouldn't do much, and it would just raise my exhaustion. Hello there! How's it going? Hey, kid. Hey, little... Hi, little boy! Hi! Let's trade, kid. Look what I have here. Oh, you've got... bullets. Thank you. I shall take them. Actually, hang on. Let's trade razors instead. There we go. Perfect. I now have bullets. Uh, hey lady, you're just gonna keep running off like that? That's fine with me. I'm just gonna sit here and break into this person's house. It's my last lockpick. Here we go, everybody. Let's go. No, I don't want to punch anybody. Well, there's no one in here. There's crackers and milk, which is great. Nothing in here. Oh, hey, kid. What do you got? Hmm. Rifle bullets? I'll take two. Thank you. Nothing. Alright. Well. What else? Oh, I missed this. It has nothing. Well, at least I got the milk. Uh, hey, little girl! You don't have anything useful. I've got tons of drugs. I'll rob those cabinets later when I want to come out. Uh, nothing there. Let's see. Uh, upstairs. Upstairs now. This room. This is a big house. Hey, kid! Thank you. My own pharmaceuticals. Mend my clothes. Uh, my clothes are mended. I don't mind robbing from you, honey. Okay. No, you don't have anything of interest. Yeah, I'll take the money. Why not? Old man, fix my weapons. Yeah. Perfect. I'll rob you later. Will he see me steal the steak? Let's see. No, he didn't. Okay, cool. Uh, what's here? Mm, will he see this? 
He didn't. Perfect. Okay, that's great. Let's get out of here now. Oh, wait. There's one more floor to explore. Let's go ahead and go upstairs. Will he see me? Ooh, I want that. Definitely taking that. And he didn't, because I'm a master thief. Just call me... Thief Dinkovsky. My first name should really have been Garrett. What's yours is mine. Ha ha ha. Alright. Anything else in here of interest? Nothing. Ooh, yes, please. Thank you. Oh, don't have a freak out, lady. Just your, your annual bachelor come to rob you blind, steal all your food, and your bandages. You know, just shit that was really important to you. Nothing serious. I feel it should open up to a secret passageway somewhere, but it doesn't. Which is woefully disappointing. But oh well. We made out like a... Well, like a bandit. That's perfect. Okay. Now to go back to the cathedral to give Aglaia uh, the papers that I should have given her before. And then to Maria. Everything is working out just fine. This is a good... Good session, I think. I think, anyways. Just gotta make our way across town now. I'm quite excited. As you can see. Well, you can't really see my face. Just picture, like, a wide-eyed, maniacal smile laughing at you. Hi! I love video games! I'll run away from that guy. Leave me alone. Ah, rat! Ah, rat! Ah! Uh. I, I run around a lot, guys. You'll have to forgive me. I guess the first person we can go see is Maria, since she's right here. I think that would be best. Why are all these people here? Uh, hello? Above the statues of Mistress, the air is heavy like before a thunderstorm. I could swear that I saw some shadow. By figure and shape similar to Scarlet Nina, going to the gate of the crypts. She moved quickly, but without haste, as if she went on the ground at the same time did not touch it with her feet. Let me to Maria. It is impossible. Madame dozes. She cannot be disturbed now. How important an occasion can be. Only the lady's maids may come inside. They look after the madam's bodies. I have forgot I have brought regalia to her. Here they are. Now it is impossible. If they are at you, you'd better return them to Nina. She is still the Scarlet Mistress. You're the devoted young man. It is good. What the fuck? Maria has left horns, but the relics must be passed to her own hands. Where could she go? Let's well, something about the crypt. Which I'm pretty sure is uh near here. Or around here anyway. So we're going to go there after we go to the cathedral, which I think will be the best decision that we can make. This game is all about good decision making. That was very odd. A little little disconcerting there. So we're going to walk around here. I can't remember where the crypts are, but I know they're near this place. It's not too far. First off, let's uh, deliver my package to Aglaia. I walk by the rat. I don't want to... Wait, isn't the, aren't the crypts there behind there? We'll look behind the cathedral in a second. Either that or she went to the cemetery. I don't know. There is the order. From time immemorial. Predetermined by the providence. Owing to which all goes as it should. In the way foreordained in advance. Almost no time is left. Well, have a look. I've got the drawing of the base. Here it is. Look. So, the miracle machine has appeared a lever which drives the poisoned organics from under the ground. Very symbolically. Also, there is such habitual logic in it. The common logic of the world structure. Do not say that you are surprised, Bachelor. No. I'm not surprised. All is clear. So the local diggers, bores, and engineers under the direction of Andre Stomaton in some smart ways screw a very long rod deep into the ground. On this rod, like on a spring, the egg of polyhedron reposes. This is like a lever, isn't it? 
But if the builders have stirred the underground deposits at the, st at the installation of the base, why does the disease break out only now? Because of the soil, I think. Once this clot used to be a hole into which the steppe people buried the remnants of slew bulls. Some facts confirm that. Most likely it was located above the edge of the rod. The pressure upon the top edge gradually amplified. Probably the rod was displaced when it reached the clot. Yes, it's similar to the truth. We have found the source. I congratulate you with the victory, Daniel. Tomorrow is the last and the hardest day. We have found him somewhere very, very suddenly. For some reason, I have a feeling that you foreknew about it. Tomorrow, to the meeting, to the headquarters. I shall come. Whoa. Okay. The soil under the town is poisoned. The construction of the towers revealed what was hidden before. The reason of the pestilence is absolutely clear now. It is proved mathematically. But does this mean that the tower has to be demolished? There is no more rescue for the perishing town. But it is still possible to save the polyhedron, an embodied success of human aspiration. Interesting. This is going to be very, very, a very difficult decision for me to make. Are right, we going to drop a quick save here? Hopefully, I think the crypt is somewhere around here.